With the latest and greatest smartphone flagships becoming increasingly and eye-wateringly expensive, we at Android Authority are bringing you a series about older smartphones, dissecting the promises made by manufacturers at launch, seeing how the phone stacks up over time, and taking a closer look at update support, hardware flaws, and of course its viability after so many months of it being on sale. So hey guys, my name is Ryan Thomas with Android Authority, and this is Redux. In this pilot episode, we'll be taking a look at the OnePlus 6 and 6T to check their viability in 2019. The OnePlus 6 and 6T have gone relatively unscathed with regards to big game-changing issues. The couple of problems that were present at launch, namely the missing notifications and dark automatic brightness, have since been resolved in software updates and are no longer issues. Software is certainly a strong point for the company, and with the 6 and 6T looking to get Android Q in Q4 of this year, with OnePlus 3, a device launched in 2016, getting Oreo, we'd be surprised if the 6 and 6T miss out on the next big Android release. The company promised back in mid-2018 that they'd serve updates to each and every model they produce for a minimum of two years from its first release, and so far they're right on track with these two, but we'll just have to wait to really evaluate the fulfillment of the promises. Both of these devices are running versions of Oxygen OS 9.0 on top of Android Pie 9.0. And thanks to Oxygen OS's pretty lightweight structure, you're able to get more life out of that piece of software. You don't get that bloat or extra apps that can bog down a phone and leave a phone feeling pretty unusable after just nine to 12 months. Performance in heavier tasks such as 3D gaming in PUBG Mobile and Real Racing 3 is still top notch, since the specs of the 6 series are still very strong and competitive with all but the very best phones in 2019. The cameras, while still B-grade in terms of versatility, compete with good mid-range devices in 2019 for image quality. Dynamic range has been noticeably improved over the months with software updates, and we've still got a healthy array of shooting modes for the phone, with only one focal length. Dynamic range is solid, with good sharpness, just lacking in colour accuracy and field of view options. At around 550 USD, GBP and Euros brand new, it doesn't look like OnePlus has really dropped the pricing of the 6T at all. However, in the used market, expect to pay 100 less of each currency. Value for money is certainly questioned when you think about the LG G7 ThinQ that is substantially cheaper and the Pocophone F1 which is cheaper still. Buying used might be the smart option here as we don't really see any crazy sales from OnePlus. However, of course the 7 is coming soon and we should start to see a small price drop for the 60 on third party sites and carrier stores, but they tend to just take away the buy button on the official website. If you're looking for the more 2019 looking device, the 60 has your back. It features the water droplet notch, in display fingerprint scanner and unfortunately lacks a headphone port, but does have the added benefit of having a battery size substantially closer to the 4000 mAh mark that seems to be the 2019 standard. The 6 on the other hand is an example of a device with new specs and old features. Features that a lot of people still really appreciate, such as that headphone port, at the expense of just looking a tad out of place in the current crop of handsets. As a general rule, if you're going to buy a 6 series from OnePlus in 2019, you're going to get a great phone with a great list of specs and some spectacular performance. You might be losing out a little bit on the screen and on the camera and perhaps on the battery life, but you're still getting a fantastic phone and if you buy used, you're getting an even better deal. And just in case you don't like OnePlus, here are a couple of alternatives that we recommend. Firstly is a brand new Pocophone F1 for similar specs at a much lower price if you don't really care much about the screen or build quality. And second would be a refurbished P20 Pro since you get a lot more features and also that awesome camera at a price around a brand new OnePlus 6T. Neither going to be quite as quick as the OnePlus 6 and 6T, but definitely more versatile with more features. For the money, the 6 and 6T are tremendous smartphones that feature great screens, albeit at Full HD Plus resolution, good battery life, solid cameras, excellent software support, and performance that just keeps on crushing the competition. If you want a phone with a wealth of features, including some increasingly uncommon ports, then my pick would be the OnePlus 6. Although a year old, it is the way to go if you value a headphone port and want a super fast physical fingerprint scanner. Alternatively, if you want truly unrivaled performance for a fraction of the cost of the competition, the 6T will more than satisfy your needs. And with that, it's about time for me to go. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. We'd love to hear your feedback in the comments. Please do like and subscribe if you're new around here to never miss a video like this one. I've been Ryan Thomas from Android Authority, and I'll see you later. Peace.